Hey, 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 DJ Mikey Mike in Direct Sound, and we are doing it from scratch today. That's right, we're doing it from scratch with a quick update to the photo booth. I uh, had a quinceanera a couple of weeks ago and had the photo booth there. Um, the photo booth I had issues with, uh, I believe it was due to a heating issue in my booth. So, uh, I'm using the, the HP 300 uh, PC inside my booth. It uh, gets pretty hot, so I need some ventilation in my booth. I put a small uh, port be by the printer area. It uh, doesn't seem to give me enough ventilation for the booth. I need some forced air ventilation. So what we're going to do is we're going to install a fan in the back door. I uh, was going to put it on the shelf, but I believe I'm going to put it in the back door just to get it to a little bit uh, uh, better seal, and I think it'll work about a little better for me. Also, it gives me the ability to put the PC in and out a little bit easier. So I'll show you what we got. For those of you that haven't seen the inside of the photo booth yet, here's a quick glimpse without the PC in it. And there's the camera mounted to the top with a custom mount. Uh, there's a small pole that I use for a uh, umbrella. But basically what we have here is from Penn Elcom, I have this uh, small little grate uh, that goes over a standard four inch fan that we're gonna mount to the door area. And as you notice right here, I have a small port that goes to the printer port, which kept nice and cool. The printer was doing really well. So here's the uh, printer port pole. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mount the other fan right here in the top area. So I took, so I took the fan and marked out the inside of the fan hole. As you can see the little line right here. We're gonna cut that out. And then we're going to install this grate right over the hole so it looks nice and clean in the back of my booth. That's going to give the, the camera ventilation also the printer area right here. Now you can see actually right through where my PC would be. That's where my seat is mounted into the front door of the uh, photo booth. Pretty cool. So anyway, we're going to be putting some ventilation in the photo booth and uh, cool this puppy down. And uh, we should be good to go. So basically what the issue I had was about 18 shots into my uh, event, which was probably about uh, 45 minutes or so, um, the camera stopped talking to the computer. So I'm not sure if it was a camera issue or a computer issue. Um, I immediately went to my backup plan, which was Party Booth and um, my webcam, which worked amazing. Uh, Party Booth software was awesome, it worked uh, just killer. I was using the Breeze system software to uh, talk to the digital SLR, which uh, gives you super high quality pictures, uh, but it doesn't do me any good if it's not working. So we got to get this uh, heat issue worked out. Now it wasn't a, um, I don't believe it was a software issue. I think it was a, a heat and or computer or camera issue. But also, what else did I have a problem with? Oh, I also had a problem uh, with the touch screen. For those of you that uh, haven't had a lot of dealings with touch screens, uh, let me give you a tip. I had some feather boas in my uh, party bag for, uh, you know, for props, a prop box. And uh, somehow a microscopic, I'm talking, I couldn't even distinguish it until I was right on it with like a magnifying glass almost, um, got stuck on the screen, uh, just flew off onto the screen. That would be the same issue with a fly or a gnat or anything because I saw a gnat actually hit my screen and did the same thing. Um, you got to be really careful because this little feather touched the screen and it was stuck there. And when people would walk by, it would flap in the wind and trigger the software to start running randomly. Or, and then during the middle of the software while it was running, it was click, it was like a mouse click. Every time you get a mouse click, it does something different. So you have to be really careful on the, you know, like if you have a lot of dust in the air or uh, things flying around, be careful with if you're using a touch screen. So it might be a good suggestion for those of you that are thinking about touch screens, maybe go with one of the uh, non-touch screen uh, button type things. You know, I've already built my booth, so I can't go around that option. I guess I can install a button if I wanted to. So, uh, but I would still have the touch screen active. I don't know how to deactivate my touch screen. So anyway, uh, well, let's install this fan, get some ventilation in here, get the camera and the computer issue worked out. And we'll deal with the touchscreen another time. But uh, this is DJ Mikey Mike doing it from scratch. Hopefully this is helpful for those of you that have photo booths out there. Or any kind of case ventilation. Uh, we'll show you how to put a little fan in All your right, case. Alright, what we're going to do first right. is peel back the foam in the door to expose the area we're going to cut. And then I'm going to put a towel down on the All 
All right, now we're going to drill a couple holes through so we can use the jigsaw and cut a circle hole. All right, this particular fan blows that way. So I got some mounting hardware. I'm gonna put it right here and through the fan hole. We'll mount the mounting hardware with screws and the fan with uh, the other hardware. And I'm also gonna remove this sticker. So the fan shows black through the back of the grill. There we go, that cleaned up that edge. Nice and clean. Now I'll melt the fan. Okay, with the bolts still in, I'm gonna push the foam up against the uh, fan area, and that'll give me some indentations where I can cut the square hole to let the fan breathe. So now you can see in the foam, I have a small indentation where the fan is and some holes. And now I'm going to cut this square out right, into the foam, small, giving me the uh, ability long to have razor blade that goes in the um, kind of those long little knife style razor blades, and that should work just fine. There we go. All right, looks really good. All right, since this is mounted in the door and this door is removable, we're gonna have to come up with a, a mounting procedure to uh, mount the cable and still be able to disconnect it and remove it. So, uh, when needed. This particular fan is pretty cool. It has a small little Molex plug right on the end of the fan that plugs in. So I can just run the power cable behind the door and when I need to remove the door, pull the phone back and just unplug it. Pretty simple. All right, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave these bolts extended here. I'm gonna buy myself another grate that's on the outside and I'm gonna sandwich in this fan. That way, I don't have any hazards right here with when the fan's running and sticking my fingers in there. So right now at this time, I don't have an extra uh, piece, but on my next order to Penn Elcom, I'll grab myself an extra fan. All right, fan. so what I have here is just a small little pigtail that I saved from an old extension cord that was bad or I cut this off for some other reason. So I'm going to shred the wires back here, put it into my plug, and that way I'll have the ability to plug my fan right into the plug. Voila. So from our fan plug, we can just plug it right into our little plug here. And I'll have that taped up. So we have plenty of extra cable to let the door open and close. And we have power here for our fan. That is really cool. Or we can actually just unplug it and take the power cord with us with the door. That's also a possibility, which I probably, that's probably what I'll do. So there we go. Cool. So this is DJ Mikey Mike doing it from scratch with a little fan uh, installation, trying to get some ventilation for my photo booth here. Hopefully that was helpful. 
way to install your fan. You can use it in an amp case. You can use it in your photo booth. You can use it just about anywhere you need to put a fan to get some ventilation. Now, they also make a double rack fan uh, mount, uh, a double case fan mount. So uh, that's a single. They make a double. And like I said, I'm going to sandwich that one in so I don't end up getting my fingers caught in my fan. So it uh, might reduce a little bit of the ventilation, but I think it will be plenty for this little small booth. And because uh, there's not that much heat generated, but there is when it's enclosed. So this is DJ Mike. You might do it from scratch. Hey, make sure you check out the Chave contest. Uh, you guys had a chance to win some amazing gear. Uh, the product review contest from Chave. You don't have to own a Chave light. Just do an amazing review or think just outside of the box and do something really cool with Chave product. And you got a chance to win big. I'm telling you. I'll put the link down in the description. And make sure you check that out. All right. Peace.